Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Welcome to our November 1st episode, which, of course, always has the best walk of shames and or stride of prides in the world, that being whatever glitter costume you have left over from the night before. We've got all of the Bachelor alumni costumes to get through, so let's jump right into it. If you enjoy this episode, the next one is going to be drama-filled, so stick around, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget, on the after afternoon podcast bachelor rush hour i'm going to go over some things i'm not covering here including rudy from listen to your heart remember bachelor presents listen to your heart listen to your heart is that what it's called either way remember rudy she's on the voice this is the voice and we've got her full duet i'm going to be airing that today along with some insider news you're not going to get over here all right let's jump right into it we start with last night's dancing with the stars i'll also be covering this on today's podcast charity loss in there dancing with some chucks on and a skeleton outfit and a tutu. That skeleton represents all of the relationships in Bachelor Nation that have died this year. Uh, Luckily, Charities is not one of them. Go Charity and Dotton. All right, speaking of jokers and the jokes that are some dating life, we've got Pilot Pete, former Bachelor Pilot Pete. Pretty good joker right there. Pretty good on the makeup. Did a good job there. Uh, Good on him. I'll be rating them based on whether or not I think their costumes suck. Okay, very easy costume by Justin Glaze, former uh, uh, Driving with Dave alumni. He's been on my channel several weeks ago. Nate will be next week's driving or in two weeks we'll have nate on driving with dave so i'm getting all of the gorgeous men of bachelor nation nate there is a i am knuff he is a ken doll cowboy outfit he gets a c minus but you know what with a smile like his and being tall that's really all he needs to wear when he goes out for halloween people are like oh are you dressed as my dream date and then we have justin glaze there as a young rocky the rock Dwayne Johnson. Very nice there. Uh, A standard costume. All right. Here's Tammy with her bow. Also a Barbie. Barbie is going to be the key of the year because women love to dress as Barbie. So many options of Barbies. Uh, This is cowgirl Barbie, I guess. And then that is, uh, I guess, pimp daddy Ken. I don't really know exactly which version of Ken the pimp jacket is. Liv, Olivia from this season's Bachelor in Paradise here, does a standard uh, rollerblader Barbie. It looks very nice there with the sort of biker shorts, unitard look, uh, visor. I don't, I don't know what you call it there. Good for her. And in a more cryptic costume, we have Blake Horstman and his lady friend, Janina Gabelli, dressed as Patrick Bateman and Paul Allen there. So some blood on the face. Maybe that's from a botched Botox job. I don't really know. Uh, good friends, Blake there. Uh, Abigail posted this photo, and we'll have more on Serene in a second, but this is Abigail with a, I believe, uh, uh, what is this? <laughs> Sometimes I draw a blank on what I'm talking about. This is Abigail's photo, but it is a picture of Serene with her face zoomed in. You ever try to pop a really tough blackhead and you have to use a one of these, um, what's that called again? Oh my gosh, yeah, you're going to be leaving comments going, Dave, how dumb are you? Anyway, a magnifying glass. Wow. Okay, we'll get into more of that. Clay Harbor posted here new boy band i don't know i'm gonna give this a c minus it looks like he's just wearing a nice outfit i think this was one of those times when you forgot you had to put a uh you know a halloween costume together and you just find a cowboy hat and call it a costume anna redman here uh 2095 so futuristic oh wait hold on a second so does that mean anna redman and there and there's chris so maybe maybe a boy band costume was just a hodgepodge of other costumes put together which works it works for me so here's anna redman in some sort of she looks like a futuristic um a figure skater that's what she looks like there um and then we have edith edith from golden bachelor um i don't know if this is a halloween costume or is she just look elegant uh maybe the elegant barbie uh so there she is alex bordy the bachelor that is too good for us alex bordy of course we've seen him on bachelor in paradise we've seen him in bachelor in paradise canada and we've seen him on bachelorette and i don't know if he's single but that jawline and chin dimple tell me he would be an amazing choice for bachelor so we're waiting to hear back from him here's my favorite costume I love a good costume that's ironic. I love a costume that's uh, uh, full of political influence. This is uh, Wits. This is Witsman. He was on, I believe, Tasha's season of Bachelor. 
Bachelorette, and he was a former football player, I believe went to University of Rhode Island, right? Um, and then he posted, Justin. Th- his friend is Justin Thomas, and then he's the billionaire who sends him on extravagant trips for preferential court rulings. You love a good progressive costume here. Of course, we know we do have, this, is, this costume speaks no lies, we do have a Supreme Court justice that has a billionaire friend who sends him on billionaire vacations. Who's to say a Supreme Court justice can't vacation with billionaires? Well, I think a Supreme Court justice is the only position that shouldn't be vacationing with billionaires. You know, do I have to spell it out for people? Because it's going to influence their votes. Hey, while you're enjoying this trip to the Maldives, how about voting no on the next thing that's going to make me a lot of money? All right, Rachel Lindsay here. She's pregnant, folks, in her outfit, her costume here. Wouldn't that be a great pregnancy reveal? She She's Rihanna for Halloween, of course. We shared this the other day. Bad girl Riri. So there she is. Very good look there doing halftime uh, Rihanna. And then we have Joe Park, Doc. Joe right here. Not a single person knew who we were dressed as. Would anyone out there have gotten it? Again, even with these photos, I still don't know who this is. But either way, good for them. Uh, Can anyone tell me what this is? I don't know. He's got, what's on his back here? He's got a heart. Is this a Squid Games thing? Maybe this is a Squid Games thing. Is that weird reference? Is it Squid Games? Okay, maybe it is. I don't know. Let me know. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Squid Games. Is that just me? Everyone's like, oh, that's amazing. I was like, Okay, yeah, it's dystopian. It's sad. It's probably too real for me. All right, Dustin Kendrick right there. There's Dustin with a lady dressed as a some form of a cat. I don't know. If, I don't know if this is a cheetah or what. And it looks like in the bottom left photo, I love this lady a little bit more. She's using her prosthetic tail as a prosthetic penis. Women love a penis, don't they? Uh, I I don't know. I think I you know I I think I can I think I can go ahead and say that men would, you know, just for one day out of the year would like boobs. And I think women would like a penis. I think they would. I don't know. You never hear about women who want balls though. They always want to play with the, they always want to pretend like they have a penis, but they never want to pretend like they have balls. And I'm telling you what, I can't relate to what the feeling must be to take your bra off at the end of the day. And you can't relate to what the feeling is to have balls on a long road trip. I mean, look, humans weren't built for cars, right? Uh, Or horseback. All right. Alana, there she is. uh, Sirens and sailors. So she's playing a Greek, uh, not goddess. Is a siren a goddess? It's a Greek. It's for sure Greek related. Whatever she is, and he's just a pirate. Um, anyway, either way, a very good looking couple that we for sometimes forget about here in Bachelor Nation because they've been unproblematic. Other other than several years ago, Bachelor in Paradise wanted to cancel them, which is stupid. Cheerio Greerio. Here's Greer. Of course, she is regularly spotted in New York City for her style. Good and bad omens. Um, I don't know what that means. Can someone tell me what this is? It's a good outfit. It's some sort of like lace. It looks like she robbed a bridal gown and threw some, you know, uh, eye mask on it. But we'll take it. You know, whenever whenever ladies get the chance to use their dark lipstick and dark fingernails and show their bad side, oh, I'm a Slytherin today. You know what I mean? Uh, speaking of that, no Harry Potter costumes. And by the way, did I sh- oh did I share my? I don't know if my dog's... Let's do it right now so I don't forget. Let's go to my dog's costume here. This is Bob Ross. This... (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh! So we are we are traveling to visit family, and our good friend uh, decided, who is watching our dog, to take uh, take it into her own hands. We've got a pallet here. We've got a easel. Uh, he's got Bob Ross sunglass or glasses, and he's also got a denim shirt. This, my friends, is a good boy. This is a good boy who knows. That, oh, is that peanut butter? And it almost looks like he's got peanut butter on his palate. Either way, very uh, fortunate to have friends that can dress our dog up like such. Natasha Parker here is dressed as some nuclear, I don't know, uh, this must be a superhero costume I'm not aware of. Let's go backwards. We have Victoria Fuller. She will be in our next video. Nothing bad. We're going to talk and discuss Victoria Fuller. Hey, would you like to see Victoria Fuller on the next episode of Driving with Dave? Dare? I ask her 
dare I ask Victoria Fuller, could I, could I be friends with Victoria Fuller? Um, she could tell me to go kick rocks. I'm not really sure, but I think I might, re- you know, cause I'm going to be in Nashville over the weekend. I think I might reach out to her and just see, I float the idea by, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Raven and Adam here. This is, you know, when you have kids, it limits your costumes, right? You need, you need more like Incredibles, this, you need like full on. So they've got the kids dressed as Dalmatians and that's Cruella DeVille with the nice sort of uh, d- uh, b- uh, dual hair color. And then Adam Adam is playing, I, I don't know, uh, is that the guy who, who owns the dogs? I don't really remember how it goes down. But either way, good for them. Nice, uh, nice uh, family costume right there. Olivia dressed as, uh, I guess, the greatest showman. Is that what that is? The circus? Either way, uh, you know, uh, got the uh, rabbit tail coat uh, with the, uh, what you know, I don't know, cane thing happening in the top hat. Very nice, Olivia. And then B Mac Jones. B Mac Jones is over here. Is this a, um, what's it, Peaky Blinders? Is that what this is here? Peaky Blinders reference, but very nice. And um, we'll get, oh, and speaking of family costumes, we have Ashley Iconetti, who may also be on an, on an episode of Driving with Dave soon. We've got uh, to see her while we're in Rhode Island. She and uh, her husband, Jared, with his guns out there, hasn't missed an arm day, uh, with their baby, Apu. So very nice. It looks like he's got a red solo cup on his hat. So A for effort there with his costume. She's she's the she she bought hers. The baby got his, and then of course Jared forgot to order his on Amazon. So he's got blue pants and a uh, red solo cup. Hey, it works. Uh, a for effort. Kelly Flanagan with her CEO boyfriend. Uh, she's going as a nerd. They're nerds. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, a bunch of nerds. Uh, there she is with the uh, plaid uh, schoolgirl uh, skirt, uh, high socks. Very, and they put glasses on. So nerds. Uh, there's Kelly. So if, if any nerds want to cancel them, don't don't be a geek. Don't cancel them. They're having fun. Nerdy, and I know it. Aren't we all nerds? Don't you love it when a girl says she's a nerd? She's like, I'm a nerd. I collect purses. And you're like, Stacy, that's not a nerd thing to do. You'd be a nerd if you collect purses uh, and then wear them to your Dungeons and Dragons game you play every Thursday night with your fellow nerd. That would be a nerd thing. Wells Adams here. Very nice. We've got uh, talent. It appears to be Talladega Knights on the left, and then we have what appears to be Billy Madison. Not Billy, I'm sorry, not Billy Madison, right? Happy Gilmore on the right. Sorry, I get them confused there. And then is what is his girlfriend going as? The uh, former star of Modern Family is she? Um, is is she just like? I don't know. Is she a 1970s? I don't know. She looks like every mean person that comments on my channel. <laughs> so, why don't you try to do this better? You should get a haircut. Whenever I think of someone who says, talk to me like that, it's her. All right. Uh, home stretch. Hannah Godwin is Tinkerbell, of course. All right. Um, then we have Susan from Golden Bachelor. I'm. She's going to a masquerade ball. All right. Good for Susan. Tammy. We got another photo of Tammy being sexy cowboy, cowgirl Barbie. Um very nice. And um, Bree Springs. Can someone tell me what this one is? I don't know this costume. It looks cute, though. I, I googled um, cartoon yellow jacket, and I got a bunch of bumblebees. So I'm not really sure who this is. But let me know. I'd like to get full credit over there. Um, let's continue going on. Oh, here. This might be the the most unique here. Serene Brooke Russell, you know, big friend of the program here. She's dressing as a meme. You're not the problem. You've never been. So let's go back. So she's looking pretty good as far as... I love when hot girls put on facial hair. It just makes me confused. Um, so there she is with stacks of money. I don't know if that's real money, uh, but it looks like it. So is she walking around with real money? Let's go. What's going on with this? $10,000 bills. Those are real stacks of money. Gosh, right? It says $10,000 bills. Usually when it's fake money, it'll say fake money on it. So that's pretty interesting. I, I want to know where she got that. And um, that's one brand deal. One brand deal and you can get uh, this costume. And there she is. So uh, why men deserve less. And she says them, you're not future. And she said me, here I am. So that's her. So Serene Brooke Russell gets my costume of the of the uh, we I know I don't know it's a unique choice but I just think it's pretty badass um, and I think that's all we have oh no we have Caitlin Bristow she's dressed as what I believe to be circus ringleader lion tamess tamer tamess and then the dogs there are dressed as um, lions so there's 
Uh, there's Caitlin, and then I think we have a few more. Oh, here's Becca Martinez, says celebrities, they're just like us. So there she is with her, um, I don't know what uh, Victorian era costume this is, but she's got the wig on and the whole blue thing with Pep's blue ribbon. So very nice, very nice to see her there. And do we have any more? Um, uh, we got the nerd already. That's it, folks. We made it through our Halloween costumes. Did I miss anybody? Um, I'm not going to share. I'll share what I dress. Oh, I just I, mine was boring. You don't care to see mine, but I'll talk about it later on today for the Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. I hope everyone had a fantastic evening. I know it was freezing where I was, and um, we will be back more right after this. <laughs> 